welcome welcome hey episode three mando oh lorian Hooray. season two television Woo! the peak the saga <laughs> continues saga trundles on <laughs> like just... oh that's the league of legends character oh trundle yeah but that's an actual word and that's probably the first time i heard that word used that way and then i was like what the fuck and then it's like it's an actual <laughs> word when did league come out was that 2009 uh yeah i think so there you go 2009 is when mutually used the word trundle i guess <laughs> that's the origins history. of the word trundle dictionary league, <laughs> of, league of legends the 2000 that's what it video was game. made yeah so it was like that's a cool word i'm gonna put that in the dictionary <laughs> just give it a random meaning it's like all right <laughs> trundle sounds like a way that you walk I think it is, isn't like it? It does kind of sound like that. Just, Hold just on. trundling along. This mystery yeah. needs to be solved. Trundle. Because that is what it means, isn't it? You, like, awkwardly it move along. You progress by revolving. So to move on or as if on wheels. Really? That oh, is okay. That's what trundling, trundling means? The example that they have is roll buses trundling through the city. As a noun, the act of moving slowly or heavily. But... Okay, right. Well... All right, that sounded sounds about like what I thought. Yeah, it that's would. that's what I thought it meant. Yeah. Huh. Where'd you get the wheel thing from? I'm not seeing that. Oh, that's from Merriam-Webster. Uh, I'm just so, using the, the Google one. Hey, but remember, if you cite Merriam-Webster, that makes you um, smarter. I think that's a joke I wrote in one of my scripts. <laughs> if you cite an actual dictionary, you look smarter. But if you just do the Google one. So yeah, use Miriam Webster. That, that we needed to get that out there before we start this episode. Okay, so that's that. Obviously, that was really important. Funnily enough, as was with Batwoman, if you guys remember back in the day, we kind of lot stopped doing it because Batwoman just became so fucking nuts. There was a couple things we missed. Uh, one <laughs> of the ones was um, I was thinking about how. Do you remember when Cara Dune <sighs> punched? Mando, it like fucked him up and it, she didn't care. I don't sure remember that. Incredible iron hands. Yeah, I was gonna say the only way I guess this gets explained is if she has like super special space gauntlets <laughs> or some shit. But um, it was okay. just interesting. Like with what we saw in episode one, is it, is it just like common for people to punch people in the helmet? Is that just like a fighting tactic? <laughs> like, the go old for the helmet, helmet punch technique. Yeah, punch him in their helmet. Seems like a weird one. Um, but it's just funny that there's precedent, you know? Mandalorian is consistent with itself. People maybe, just really want to punch his armor with their maybe, fist. Maybe, maybe the tactic is to just, uh, light it to the side a little bit so he can't see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> rotate his helmet, well, yeah. and then no. he's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> He's <laughs> flailing around. I mean, you yeah. can barely see that thing anyway. Oh yeah, I, for yeah, sure. Yeah, probably not. You know where they got all the guns on him? It, it, you do wonder, like, hey guys, what if you quickly grab the helmet off? Let's do it. Just take it off, yeah. What if you just pull the trigger on your firearm? Oh, that, no, that wouldn't make That's any sense. That's insanity. Stop it. And yeah, so this would be, this is uh, one of the one of the top comments I thought was uh, amusing. Uh, guys, you don't get it. The, they need the townsfolk and the sand people because the message is if we all work together, regardless of our differences, we can achieve great things. Though, since the writing's terrible, they really don't need them at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's the thing. It's just like, what a worthless fucking message when it's just like confusing that Mad Doe and a Bad Tho would have taken care of all of it. Yeah, um, especially yeah. if they, uh, while they lose so many people. <laughs> you yeah, know, they should have held. It's the second time that Mando has irresponsibly brought a bunch of civilians into a <laughs> combat zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the AT, AT episode, at least they gave them some training, right? So this no, is well, the thing. they got and... sharpened sticks. Yeah. He's not yeah, ruthless. That's... He's not spending lives just so that he can make the mission easier because he's portrayed as quite the goodman. He's just incompetent. That is consistent <laughs> uh -huh. in all of the Mandalorian episodes so far. He's just the worst saw, uh... idea haver to ever be in Star Wars. I think I saw somebody compare him, say that he was Star Wars' John Wick. I just find that <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Wick is lucky. <laughs> Um, but he's very comp- like, I wouldn't say he's, like, fucking stupid in- in John Wick 2 and 3. The problems with that, those films, at least if, from what I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's just a lot of instances where guys should have shot him and didn't <laughs> in those sure, two Oh, movies. yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, all the, all the enemies are super- they just walk up, yeah. uh, up to him with his- with their guns out. It's like, but oh, if, I, if I put my gun right in his face, I'm gonna- He does do some stupid miss. shit, like, walking past the guy- <laughs> Like, he just exits the party in, like, the really obvious way and happens to bump into his old friend or whatever. And then he's like, <laughs> yeah. you working tonight? Yes. Good night. Afraid so. Afraid <laughs> <laughs> so. It's like, what are you doing, you fucking retard? 
<laughs> John Wick 2, very good, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you got iron, Ironclad saying, uh, They should have held on to the Bounty Hunters Guild component, would have gone a long way to getting us to different locations, a logical means of Mando doing odd jobs, keeping Mando protective, uh, proactive rather than um, sporadically, held hostage in exchange for information and maintaining a degree of income, assuming he used all of that best car for his armor, which I think is categorical, right? A I don't fair know. assumption. I'm pretty so sure that's you don't the need case, the guild yeah. to do that. No, you don't, but um, I actually agree with the idea of keeping the guild involved, and it gives you access to just more bounty hunting world building, which would be really cool. It would be awesome if he was still in the guild and everyone else in the guild was dead. Yeah, like, we, we have Mando to... Mando betrays the guild, kills everyone in the guild, and then the guild leader teams up with him to save the guild. No, I know what you no mean. Like, I think these criticisms i don't know if they do but these criticisms probably involve redoing season one as well <laughs> you just redo yeah, all of it yeah just, just as a rule of thumb redo season one so i'd be curious to see what you guys think of this one and they said wait a minute i just realized that they got the law wrong she says that when the empire fell mos pelgo was a free-for-all but that doesn't make any sense because the tatooine is owned by the huts and it's in hut space the first thought someone might have is wait but jabba's dead right power vacuum or something it's like but none of that was mentioned it was all just that the empire in control and if you remember <laughs> death star part two blowing up was very soon after jabba died like yeah we're not yeah. talking years or anything <sighs> Like, the idea that Jabba was not in control of Tatooine, or at least the, the Hutt family would have... There's no way that Jabba was the only Hutt, you know? I uh, mean, there's a lot of things. The news wouldn't have gotten around in that time for it to become under the Empire's control, only for them to then blow yeah. up. What we're supposed to believe is that the Hutts lost control of uh, the Outer Rim, or rather just the Tatooine portion, I guess, and the Empire took over, and then the Empire instituted, like, laws and safety regulations or, or you know, outposts, and then the moment Death Star 2 blew up, a power vacuum appeared in Tatooine and everyone started killing people? Like, it's all so balked. It's weird. Hmm. From a lore perspective, anyway. Yeah. Hey, Friggy, you want to read this one out? I honestly can't take the critique from people who thought The Haunting of Bly Manor was great serious. Christ, that show was trash that liked the smell of its own farts. Oh, shut up. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Bly Manor's fantastic. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Fuck this. Next comment. I just find it amusing. It's like, so you're on team pro Mando, bad Bly Manor. And I'm like, all right, I don't think you're the type to appreciate consistent writing then, right? Like, I don't know. You're blasters. You just, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Like, Bly Man is really well-constructed. Mando is all over the fucking place. I just feel like I, I, that's all I got. Yeah, I'm sorry you don't like good TV shows, but I hope you sort that out soon. <laughs> I got faith. Yeah, don't I worry. Don't. A lot of people get over <laughs> it, a lot of people don't, so. And this one's uh, pretty amusing, you got. They are gonna hate it. So before we address anything else in this screenshot, I would not describe my feelings toward Mandalorian as hate. Uh, I don't hate I don't yeah. hate this show. It's no. a terrible show. I don't hate it. Yeah. I, I, never even, I, I wouldn't have watched it if it wasn't for Efet. I would <laughs> downright refer to my position as amused. I'm amused by Mandalorian a lot of the time. Um, I think a lot of the mistakes they make are funny and dumb. They're hilarious, yes. I do not, in any sense of the word, gonna give them praise for their storytelling. It's garbage. Oh no, absolutely not. I feel like disappointed would better I feel like that's fair. describe how I feel, because I think I've said this so many times at this point, I really would have liked a show like The Mandalorian if it was good. This is kind of like my jam, and it's bad. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Then you got, um, I think you'll only like it if you're a long-time Star Wars fan, you watched all other shows. That's a weird qualifier for a TV show. You'll like yeah. it as long as you watch a bunch of other shows that are yeah. of dubious quality. I feel as though, uh, the majority of our criticisms have nothing to do with the existence of other shows. Yeah, no. they're pretty independent. It's, uh, most of our issues are <laughs> self-contained to the individual episodes and this show itself. Yeah. And then you got, there are logical reason to hate the writing of Batwoman, CW. Don't know why they need to hate Mando, though. Have you listened to what we were saying? <laughs> it's such I a like strange thing to, to say. To any of the, in, in, that, in that episode that's been out. Like, what the hell? This is just, you're, you're not allowed to make fun of things I like. Yeah, because I've seen, there's a bit of fighting in the comment section, and um, we'll have a look at some more when we uh, hit the next episode, I suppose. But, like, people who keep saying, like, references to how we're being unfair or mean or whatever, but then counters from our fans as well being like, wait, how come none of you are saying this with Batwoman? Yeah. Well, because Batwoman is bad writing. It's like, mm. <laughs> um... <laughs> Right. Mm, We're still using the same standards, by the way. I just want to no, no, point no. that. Okay, no, okay, sorry, my bad. 
So, are you guys ready to watch episode three of season two? I find it amusing that like he put so much effort into getting Boba's armor, but he left like that enormous pile of armor. I guess because the blacksmith. Was the with the it. blacksmith has it. It's yeah. okay. Did she put it in like a big truck? <laughs> she just oh, we don't know. It down. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, abortion. So yeah, first two. Have we talked about this like first two episodes of filler? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever encountered a TV show where the first episode of a season is filler. So weird. You think you're gonna show that, that Baby Yoda is gonna eat the babies? I, I assume think will. that's just for the episode. Alright. Alright, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens next. Hey, it's our Marvel, Marvel Studios logo. Oh wait, no, Star Wars. <laughs> the, where's, yeah. uh, where's Jar Jar? <laughs> <laughs> Jar Jar, shut <laughs> up. Look how high quality is this. It's such a waste. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> they had a lot of money, that's for sure. I still can't get over the fact that this is a half hour episode. It's like, shit, alright. Yeah, Why get going. Short? I can't believe how they many... made it here. Yeah, how many years, <laughs> how many How many dozens upon dozens of years did it take for you to get here? Without the guidance system, it'll be a manual re-entry. Might get a little choppy. I mean, oh, this ship will survive ship anything. Just... Yeah. yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Isn't the ramp at the back down? So, like... If you're going into the atmosphere, that's gonna burn, right? You don't have to come in so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll survive. It's like, slow down, just float down. This is, uh, I think this is a reference to Apollo 13, actually. Which would make sense, because I believe Bryce Dallas Howard directed this episode. And her dad directed Apollo 13? And Why didn't they, like, correct. hail anyone on the planet to come up and help them? You hmm. think there'd be other options, yeah. This is way yeah, more stressful. Yeah, it's like, hey guys, my name is such and such. My ship's fucked up. Can someone give us a hand up here? I like all the fucking damage we've sustained just because we couldn't go into hyperdrive because those eggs might get hurt. And then fucking Baby Yoda's chowing down on him. <laughs> and it's gonna drop really and hard, cut off isn't it? at the end and... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I guess they drone. No, they'll fish I it like out. like how none of them no, care. There was like a out space of the water. ship coming crashing down to the fucking... There you go. Alright, alright. Wait, do they just wait until they strap yeah. all that up? <laughs> <laughs> it's been down there so long that seaweed is already a mask on it. <laughs> this is like two weeks late. <laughs> can you fix it? What do you think? Do what you can. This is 12 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it'll be pristine by the end of the episode, I don't know. Almost assuredly. A number of eggs in that thing always changes. <laughs> She makes more off screen, and Baby Yoda eats more off screen. <laughs> wow, really? All right. And yeah, that quest is done. Sweet. Get the XP. Look, this was yeah, an emergency cause... landing, right? The odds of this yeah. person being here is quite a. Well, I guess they were supposed to be someplace. I guess. I don't know. Fuck it. Hmm. <laughs> this is where they were supposed to be all along. There's not as many as I thought there'd be. <laughs> I was told you could lead me to it, others of my kind. He sets off the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God knows! Ah, uh, that's uh. Oh, look at Sasha Banks. I mean, uh, a character from Star Wars. Ah, uh, don't do the disappearing thing. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> here. She's so mysterious. Oh my goodness, she was waiting here for Mando. The girl on Tatooine sold him out. She had gambling debts with ants. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Oh, yeah. Man, it must suck to only have three fingers. Rashid over there. Where's- oh, baby, you're just what, immediately what, what, teleported over there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> How do they get those sleeves on? Friend, I don't know. So They're stretchy, Rex. Information. Calamari Flan, from Yay. the first episode. Have you seen others that look like me? Yeah. Others with Beskar have been through here. Who can take me to them? I know someone who might help. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, serves you right. Commando, hey, you got ears, buddy? Don't play with your food. What? Oh, okay, I guess. Just this is it it's, it's, it's actually normal for the food to attack infants as they try to eat it. <laughs> okay. Apparently. If this show was fantastic, then like the music would be even better, you know? <laughs> Every time you hear the theme, you'd be really happy instead of sad because it's well, this, this great music effects to this show. This isn't really fishing music, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> They should have had it be like a sea chanty or something. Maybe all of the uh, the guys would be humming the song. Come on over here. Is that? Is our our ship breaking apart? 
<laughs> Don't worry about that. Like Defeating a Mama Core or whatever they called it. Hmm. We're going out of power. What? <laughs> oh my god. Are you fucking what? with me? <laughs> what? Wow, he didn't instantly kill that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you think would happen if he jumped into water? <laughs> what? what? Why did you not kill all these guys up top first? So what about the creature? Is it not eating Mando? What was your plan, Mando? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What is happening? Oh. Wow, lucky. That is very lucky, nice. I guess. Wow, I'm, I'm guessing nowhere. the only way to explain it. Has to be like they would have been like, we've been following you or something like that. Shoot him in the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> it has the child on it. What child? Oh. Who the fuck are you? Help the child. <laughs> so she's gonna do what he couldn't do. If the armor it means that's naval. Alright then. Is it dead finally? No. Here you go, little one. Oh, damn it. I've been searching for more of our kind. Well lucky we found you first. Lucky. Is that it? I was hoping that. Where did you get that armor? This armor has been in my family for three generations. You do not cover your face. He's what are you talking about? He's one of them. Eric. One of the fucking weirdos. <laughs> I am Bo-Katan. Oh, that's a person that's important. I was born on Mandalore and fought in the Purge. I thought her name was Bo-Katan. Isn't that what people say? No, Bo-Katan. This is Lady Bo-Katan of House Kreis. I am Bo-Katan. There is only one way. The way of the Mandalore. No, there's two. Yeah, just told you there's Wait, what? Dude, wait, all right. what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Dude, wait, wow, okay. Uh -oh. you blew wow, okay. Bye. Wow, <laughs> all right. I guess you blew this ship up. I already have so many questions. Like, yeah. were they just lucky that they turned up at that moment? Yeah, that's what they said. They well, said lucky. One one of the, the, the woman was uh, that he saw in the crowd was one yeah. of the, the Mandalorians, so. So they were following she him. So cost. were they on the ship? I guess they flew there? They knew he was coming? So this is what I'm getting at, like, they flew over there in reaction to him getting uh, ambushed? <clears throat> or did they just happen to fly over when that was happening? You killed my brother. <sighs> what is this episode? What brother? When? <laughs> you all look the same. Let me guess. Yeah, you all look the same. The bounty hunters will save him again. I'm gonna kill your pet. Oh my god. It's John Wick after all. Did your brother? Oh, oh my yeah. god, they actually- oh my god. Well. Correct response. Can we at least buy you a drink? A little light. Is that allowed? Is that allowed? Does the way let you buy drinks for people? He's cool with them now. It's fine. So well, it works the other way around when someone says to me, I'll buy them a drink, but okay. We're we'll seizing we weapons to retake their home world. What do you know of the Jedi? Nothing. That's stupid. I was hoping you would help me. Somehow. <laughs> Inexplicably. Uh, stop. Don't. Ugh. Gross. Why does space food have to be disgusting? <laughs> I don't know. What, are the, what the fuck is up with that? I can lead you to one of their kind. But first we need your help on hey, mission. side quest. Mission. Y'all three don't need help on anything, it looks like. <laughs> Do you yeah, just really you need him? Pretty capable. Like, him of all people? According to the port's manifest, it's scheduled to depart at first looks light. Kind of sketch. When so we stow away. Four Mandalorians looking We've at been one hitting thing. Hard. Hmm. I'd be concerned. Scan for life. If you want to do this with four, you're gonna need the element of surprise. I, as Mando, know the very little will about this element. Speed while inside the, the tower won't allow them to climb until they've left the port's airspace. Troopers? Squad at most. Oh, and so like, couldn't. basically zero threat. Yeah. Yeah. With well, no, these are Mandalorians, them. so stormtroopers are like <clears> the kryptonite <throat> to Mandalorians, as we've established. Oh, of course, you're right. Yeah. Something's come up. Can I leave him with you for a bit? Thank fuck. I hate- I wish there weren't any troopers in this episode, because they're just gonna be blasted through. That's all that's gonna happen. <laughs> we lived in need... a world where stormtroopers were actually, like, stormtroopers. Like, trained this soldiers? This would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. trained soldiers <laughs> who were competent. <laughs> what? Why are you doing standing out of the air? Outside of the... What are you doing what? up here? <laughs> we. Man, element of surprise already lost. Yeah, good wow. job, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, good job! Yeah, element of surprise. No. 
I don't think so either. They weren't ready to just blow you away when you open that door? Alright. Oh no, more that troopers. That knife is barely longer oh, no, than your three fist. Of them. Uh, that knife is barely longer than her fist. How is it? Oh, now it's longer. Okay. Uh -huh. So badass. He's so cool. I like that Mando is just slowly trying to keep up with them. <laughs> it's like, hey, wait. Oh no, they might shoot our armor. Oh, now's the I time. I like how none of the troopers was, utilize cover at all. <laughs> there was no, there was no plan there either. It was just now we move. Okay. Now we move again. Okay. Good job, guys. Why don't you just sit there with your guns, ready for them to pop out of cover? I nah, wish, I wish there were just no troopers. I wish this was just a lowly guarded, you know, facility or something. Wait, they're Mandalorians. Wait. Then how are they beating us? Yeah, we're really good at killing Mandalorians. Yeah, we're really, really fucking good at killing Mandalorians. Well, except when the plot they demands it, then we get bad again. Oh, wait, man, these are blue Mandalorians. Oh. They're great. How long until we clear the atmosphere and can make the jump to hyperspace? We can't climb until we leave the harbor zone, sir. Climb now. Just fucking do it. Your lives are in danger. You don't, you're the Empire. You don't fucking care about a local code. I mean, surely you've got just... You can just lock the doors, right? Blast yeah. doors and shit. Also, you yeah. would just tell the tower, like, yeah, we're being attacked by pirates. We have to go. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh, wow. Man, that's a big squad. Oh. You tell me none of them saw that? <laughs> oh, they're not even... How many just now passing out guns. Are on this ship? Yeah, it's a big squad. Well, we've, that, so that's three sequence set pieces already of mowing down stormtroopers. We've had three. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how many more there's going to be. Are they going to pop out a different Can door? Can you not just lock it? Or just get ready. Stand... Just have a charge. Have a like a bomb ready. A bomb would be good, yeah. Yeah, a throw grenade. The room. Or a thermal detonator. Oh, oh my no, god. Throw a grenade. There's, there's no plan. They just shoot. Cl now you want to close the door. What? Are you retarded? Why didn't you? What? <laughs> Why didn't you do that first? What? Move in the door. Move in the. Why are oh, you all? Oh fuck! All We've got blast doors. Hate... Why didn't you do that first? <laughs> Trapped them where? In the cargo control area. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. They locked them in the cargo control area. Wow. 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 Fuck oh, me. We're taking the entire ship. What? Yeah. Mando, what how did you think they were going to carry all this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do multiple trips? Like, what the- Oh, this slow old Mando trying to keep up. We are taking the ship for the battles ahead. I got you your weapons. And I have to return to my ship with the Foundling. If you want my help finding the Jedi, you will help me take this ship. Also, Mando, this is the Empire, by the way. They wiped out yeah. your entire you faction. Them? So I guess Mando thought he was helping them get this stuff, and then he could go back to get Baby Yoda, and then yeah, was he just gonna leave at this ship? point? It's like, well, all right, boxes in this room are yours now, I guess. Yeah, no, he hasn't really done anything. Oh, it's Moff Gideon. Oh, are these the same pirates that have attacked our other vessels? They appear to be. So they even know about them, and they had no prep for them. Cool. You know what to do. It would have been interesting if he was like, actually, no, I don't want to die. He I'm really stands for whatever it is the Empire stands for <laughs> that we never really learn about ever. Oh boy, will they make it? Sh surely oh, no. not, right? <laughs> Dude, more Stormtroopers. Oh, what can we do okay. about this? What is this, the fifth set piece now? I mean, there's loads of options you have. Throw grenades, rocket thing. Yeah, there you go, grenades. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, what's he doing? Cover you? What? Cover what? you. Wow, 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 Dude. How come you couldn't have thrown those from where you were? The Mandalorian in microcosm. That's what that one shot was. He's the protagonist, okay? The dark saber. Does he have it? Oh Seriously. god. The dark saber. The, they want to get the dark saber. Oh, lucky. Might I feel have like had we a... could have survived crashing into the water. Yeah, that too. Ships, I guess. Spaceships. You'd think they'd be ready for that, actually, yeah. He's an idiot, though. Oh. Oh. Okay. We have to go. He, so they have electricity cyanide pills? <laughs> okay. He committed electricide. He, he, he threw those grenades, which upheld their deal. 
Yeah. There you'll find Ahsoka Tano. Uh, you were sent by uh -oh. Bo-Katan. Your bravery will not be forgotten. Bravery. <laughs> your bravery, the way you walked into that hallway with your plot I armor. believe is the there is a difference between bravery and stupidity. And I guess the arc for this episode is we are all Mandalorians, even if we have a different ideology. Yeah. Oh. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Does look for his team. thousand credits. This was the best you could do. A thousand it's credits like isn't half, that much. It's been like half a day. Yeah, that a was day? Crazy. Your ship was destroyed. Yeah. That's like actually kind of incredible that it was repairable yeah. at all. Especially for only a thousand credits. Why is like, there seaweed like inside the car? They've it's pirated it. Lot. They've given it pirate theme. Are <laughs> you ready right. to go fishing, me matey? This webbing up the decorations. <laughs> you should be glad this ship works at all, man. <laughs> Look at this. Um. What is this? Uh, Drippy. Is it dangerous? I don't know. Okay. What? Wait, what just fell out? Something fall out. And he ate it. Did Mando know if that thing was edible rather than poisonous? Fucking yeah, was venomous or something. All right. I hope I hope Baby Yoda shits in his cockpit. <laughs> Price Dallas Howard, congratulations. Wow, that what was bad. Fuck? What the hey, fuck was they, that? Hey, Rags, I'm pretty, pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Price Dallas Howard directed episode four of season one, by the way. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Oh no. But she didn't write it though. <laughs> like that's. It's the writing, too. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. Um, I find it amusing that this whole episode was just, how fucking cool are Mandalorians? Look at them blast troopers away. Pew, 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 pew. I don't need... <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Mandalorian scene of all time, where he just gets blasted by a million bolts and none of them hit him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant. Can't believe they had the balls to film that. <laughs> 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 what a fucking joke, dude. Like... Oh, but you. <laughs> I also happen to love that he throws the grenades and they all just look at them like, huh, oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like, huh. Do you think something's gonna happen? Nah. God, the idea that there was even a second of concern about any of these sequences. They're like Terminators dealing with children. So, what we got was you got to the Mandalorians that you needed to get to, and they've sent you now to a Jedi. We have so pushed we... the can a little further down <laughs> yeah, the road. we're getting there, yeah. guys. I can see why people thought that was the worst of the three. Uh, plot armor-wise, it certainly is. In terms of nonsense, I'd say it's between this one and the first one. That first one was pretty... <laughs> It was, it was the plot line in the first one that was utter garbage. The plot armor in this episode was pretty intense. Well, I mean, he had literal, like, basically... Mando almost died, like, armor. 18 times in this episode. <laughs> he did, yeah. But they needed him. <laughs> they needed him. They needed him. Yeah. He didn't do anything except that one moment. So someone could argue, it's like, oh, that's what they needed him for, his bravery. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> They're not brave. I love that the he dives. Bravery's... He oh. dives after Baby Yoda, and he, like, immediately is like, <laughs> Oh, shit, I can't breathe in the water. What the hell? I didn't expect that. Oh, man. <laughs> and just after we, we spoke about how incompetent he is, too. Yeah, blind manner is shit. Fuck off. Well, see, you just don't appreciate true Kino like Mandalorian. Oh, thank fuck I don't. How do you guys rank it? Was this the worst or the the best or the middle? I, th I think this was the worst. This was a worthless episode of TV. I don't know, man. Like, I just... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm meant to make of this whole show. <laughs> <laughs> the budget's no. high. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it, looks it looks nice. nice. It sounds nice. You know, it's got that going for it. Good job, people who mm. make the costumes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> people who design the CGI and creatures and stuff. Yeah. It must it must suck knowing that all of your hard work and effort is going to these ridiculously stupid. At least stories. you know it'll make money. <laughs> like so, you're yeah. in a job still. Yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty true. I don't know if I'm working for Disney. Uh, job security is not exactly what I'm <laughs> feeling. Yeah, episode three. That was that was fun. That was. Uh, I, I know it wasn't fun. Fuck this. <laughs> I hated this episode so much. <laughs> episode four is next. Yeah, see you next uh, time, folks. How exciting. The doors. What you bring me? Cover me. Desert Eagle can shoot through anything.